starting from the user the user goes to whatever your domain is um, dot com you could buy this on anything I bought mine on Vassell then on Vassell for me or whatever domain uh, provider you choose you add an alias which goes from the domain to your duck DNS domain which I'll explain now if you live in a house and you're using your Raspberry Pi as your server then your router will have a public IP address but this IP address will be dynamic. So if you were to forward your domain directly to your public IP address, this would work. But at any time, the internet provider could change your public IP. I think this happens every few months normally, but it could happen faster. So what you can do is, there's a website called DuckDNS. There's also other ones. Is is this, this is a free website. They give you a domain and that is forwarded to an IP address. And then what you do is you set up a cron job on the server, which for me is a Pi. And on the Pi, the Doug DNS website has all the instructions for this. So you uh, just follow the instructions, sets up a cron job, it runs every five minutes, and it just pings Doug DNS from your machine. And if your IP address has changed, then it updates your IP address with Doug DNS. So then Doug DNS has an up to date record of what your current public IP is. So again, the customer will go to your domain, which would be an alias for your .dns, which will go to your router, and then your router will forward ports 80, I think, and 43, it might be 88. Um, one is for HTTP and one is for HTTPS. Then on my Pi, I have a caddy running in a Docker container. This is a very simple alternative to Nginx, so we're just... I've got four lines of code, I think, where I just give it the domains I want it to listen to, which is my domain and also my DuckDNS. And then with my domain, I have it with a www and without a www. And then I have those, and then I have what it's forwarded to, which is the port that I have my next app running on. So that could be 3000, 3001, or whatever you like. Then... My next app, you could run that yourself with npm run start or whatever your start command is, but because you want it running all the time and you want it to automatically restart if it fails, a good solution for that is to use pm2. Uh, so this will run, watch, and auto restart your app. Uh, so then for continuous deployments, what I've got is I've set up another cron job, which is just a bash script, which CDs into where I have my next app, does a git pull and an npm build and then because pm2 is watching it will see that the code has changed and it will start serving the new code changes so that's everything let me know if you have any questions